ಶಂಖಂಚಕ್ರಂ ಜಲೌಕಾ ದಧದಮೃತಘಟಂ ಚಾರುದೋರ್ಭಿಶ್ಚತುರ್ಭಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಸ್ವಚ್ಛಾತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಶುಕ ಪರಿವಿಲಸನ್ ಮೌಳಿಮಂಭೋಜನೇತ್ರ ಕಾಲಾಂಭೋದೋಜ್ವಲಾಂಗಂ ಕಟಿತಟವಿಲಸಚ್ಚಾರು ಪೀತಾಂಬರಾಢ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ತಂ ನಿಖಿಲ ಗದವನ something about the spasmolytic activity what i have seen observed of the shankha dravaka an in vitro study on the small intestines of rabbits it's coming to the abstract in a short so shankha dravaka is an unique preparation explained in the classics the reference is from rasataranani 12th taranga shloka number 35 ಇಟ್ ಸೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶಂಕಚೂರ್ಣಾಂಚ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯಂ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕ ಯಾವ ಶೋಕಜಂ ಸರ್ಜಿಕ್ಷಾರಂ ವಿಸಾರಂ ಚಾ ಲವಣ ಪಂಚಕಂ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಗ್ರೀಡಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಂಕ ದ್ರಾವಕ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಶಂಕ ದ್ರಾವಕ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ದ ಫಲಶ್ರುತಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಷ್ಟವಿಧ ಶೂಲ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶೂಲಂ ಅಷ್ಟವಿಧಂ ಹಂತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಐ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ the present scenario is evidence based medicine and the western peoples uh, from the western countries they ask for the evidence so here is a small speck of evidence to show that our shankha dravaka our ayurvedic formulation shows some effect it does spasmo lytic activity it will reduce the spasm in the tissues by which it relieves the pain the udara shula colic pain that's what i'm going to show i'm going to share with all your, my friends okay and the why i have taken this is because it because of in spite of its convenient form of the dose it's just few drops bindu matram and the form in the liquid form it is not explored in the market and it's not available in the market that's why i have taken this for the study and as i said generally the colic pain is correlated with the udara shula from the contemporary science and um, the results showed coming to the show in short the results what we have analyzed in the in vitro study it showed the spasmolytic activity in three spasmogen induced spasms spasmogens are those substances which we used for to induce the spasm in the tissues this acetylcholine what we say is anti muscarinic activity and the histamine well known histamine where we say anti histamine activity and the other one is the non specific spasmogen basically barium chloride has been involved is used for the study and so this is the, the you can look at the picture this is the instrument the technique used for analyzing the spasmolytic activity the number one shows the chymograph where the drum rotates in a very mild speed which will re- record the graph and the middle one which is like an aquarium aquatic fixed with some other equipments that is the thermostatic organ bath where the rabbit tissue which is grown in the animal house the rabbit will be sacrificed and the tissue will be taken and it will be preserved with certain th- solution here what we have used is thyroid solution and it it will be one end of that tissue will be tied i'll be just showing the next one number 3 is nothing but the thyroid solution okay which preserves the tissue even after sacrificing the animal and immediately taking it preserving in the petri dish so these are the rabbits used for the study and after sacrificing by cartilage bleeding we have dissected and we have found out the gastrium and tracing the small intestines leaving the few centimeters and we have taken the intestine uh, in vitro and the solution used is not water it looks like water but it's thyroid solution which preserves the tissue to not it, it should be alive right it should be kept alive and we are mounting here you can make it out one needle in her in the left hand what i'm holding the tissue one end will be tightly tied to that and the tube will be inserted into a test tube like structure and the other end will be freely fixed to a liver and when the tissue contracts the liver will be pulled and there will be a peak which shows the spasm and when the tissue is relaxed then the liver comes goes above other end of the liver goes down that shows the relaxation of the tissue okay right so just this is the how the mounted 
uh, you can make it out the tissue which is tied in the lower and the upper ends. The uh, lower end is sessile and the upper end is mobile. Okay. So, first, without inducing any spasm, we have just mounted the tissue and we have examined for any direct spasmolytic activity. You know, we know that the normal intestine will have some sort of contractions and relaxations physiologically, whether in that tissue itself our Shankadravaka is having any effect. That what we have analyzed without putting any spasmogen. So, it was surprised to see that it had showed the spasmolytic activity, direct spasmolytic activity without even inducing the spasmogen. But it is not bad, it is not good because normal contraction relaxation is required for the physiological function, right? So, here this is the normal spasms, the contraction relaxations and after administering the drug, after administering the drug, the relaxation occurred and after the wash, again the normal uh, contraction relaxation is achieved and after that increase in the dose it is 0.2 ml of the test and the 0.4 ml of the test showed more relaxation and above the 0.8 ml of test that is Shankadravaka test I, whenever I use the word test it is test drug it is Shankadravaka right so it had showed a very nice spasmolytic activity but physiologically it is not good later I will be connecting this part with the, the beauty of our Ayurvedic formulation next the first and we uh, it showed the spasmolytic activity in order to find out how the mode of action of this particular formulation we have gone through because there are two uh, methods of assessing one is uh, whether the drug is acting on the basis of alpha receptors adrenergic receptors or beta adrenergic receptors using certain drugs see after uh, along with the shankadravaka if you pour this tolazolin or propranolol if it is acting through alpha receptor, receptor then if we add tolazolin the action will be cut down so that we can infer the anumana we can say that it is acting on the base of alpha receptor or beta receptor like that but we tried it but the thing is beyond apart from some in some other way it is acting so the inference when we did it the intestinal relaxation by the test drug were at the dose of 0 0.4 ml was block not blocked either by an alpha receptor like tolazolin and a non-selective beta blocker that is propranolol when given alone so see even after adding tolazolin also the spasmolytic activity was observed okay now coming to the spasmogen induced spasm spasms along with our test drug the first one is the most common acetylcholine what we say is muscarin or anti-muscarinic activity so we induce this spasm to the tissues and uh, we have checked along with using the uh, acetylcholine and we have assessed the spasmolytic activity of Shankadravaka right so the inference is the log dose say, uh, yeah. the log dose response curve of acetylcholine was shifted to the right and um, after assessing the spasmolytic activity of each and every graph we will be measuring the things and we will be plotting a graph the graph will be shown now and we will be comparing with the standard results which uh, which is uh, evolved by the pharmacology mod modern pharmacology see you can make it out there's a good spasmolytic activity of the drug when administered along with acetylcholine also which shows anti muscarinic activity of the shankadravaka and the show the this graph what I've shown it's a parallel to the acetylcholine when administered alone so this shows that this the spasmolytic activity of shankadravaka in relation with the muscarin that is acetylcholine could be competitive antagonism it is acting almost equal to that of the modern medicine and the next spasmogen what we have used is histamine so in histamine the sensitivity of histamine was very low with the rabbit intestine the ideal model for testing the antihistamine activity is guinea pigs but even if we can assist with the help of rabbit intestines okay so we did it for multiple purpose right and the test it, this this test showed the antihistaminic activity also our shankadravaka is acting on the spasms created by histamine also so this is the, this is the effect yeah sorry this is the activity of the spa, uh, shankadravaka in histamine induced spasms and coming to the last spasmogen that is barium chloride which is a non specific spasmogen which could which blocks all sort of activity so when we just dropped totally it relaxed and uh, totally it contracted the tissues and after that we have increased the dose of Shankadravaka to a very high concentration also but in this 
we couldn't able to find any spasmolytic activity and it's of not much importance because barium chloride is a non specific non specific spasmodium it couldn't able to see after inducing the uh, spasms are increased note yeah the last one the observation see initially i said that even the normal spasmols normal contractions also the shankar dravaka is acting it's not good for then what i thought okay the contact time is increased it's not 30 seconds you will run for 5 minutes what happens so this is the graph what we obtained out of my interest what i did it just i put shankar dravaka in the organ bath and i allowed to act it for a long prolonged period so initially it showed see initially it showed between 1 and 2 it showed complete relaxation of the tissue and very slowly and gradually it increased it had given a single contraction very slowly and again it relaxed so this is the beauty of our it's not totally relaxing it is very gradually and slowly relaxing and very slowly and gradually it contracting without affecting the intestinal function so in this occasion i would like to acknowledge these people who have helped me in this study thank you thanks a lot